guys welcome back to this channel so today we are going to learn how to make a roblox game without any scripting interesting right okay so first and foremost before we start to create a game maybe some of you didn't know what is roblox right okay so roblox is an online game platform and also game creation system developed by roblox corporation okay all right so it allows users to program games and play games created by other users. So we have two types of Roblox here. One is the game platform and the other one is the studio to make a Roblox game. Okay? So today we are going to install Roblox Studio because in order to make to create a game in Roblox we need a Roblox Studio. Alright? So we're gonna install the Roblox Studio to our local. Alright. So first, you need to go to roblox.com over here. You just type in roblox.com and it will redirect to this page. Okay. So if you don't have any account yet, you can sign up here. You need to um, key in your birthday, username, password and select your gender. And you just sign up, you just click sign up button over here. All right. So if you have if you already have the um, account you just click login and then you just put your username over here and the password and you just click login all right so this is the roblox home in the website all right so in order to download the roblox studio you need to go to create over here we have create button on the top of window just click it okay and then you will go to this page so from this page you click start creating so now it will checking the roblox studio in your pc if you don't have the roblox studio you need to download you just click the download studio over here and if you have it will you directly open your Roblox Studio. Okay, so this is what Roblox Studio look like when you successfully install it on your local computer. Okay, on your left side we have new button. This one to create a new game, a new project. My games, all of your projects will be stored here. Recent, contain recent game that you open. And last but not least, archive all of the files that you archive will be visible here. Okay. All right. So we we'll, we will be creating new project now. You can choose any template from here. This is the default template by Roblox. So I'm gonna choose the basic one, the base play. Okay. So our Roblox environment editor successfully loaded now. Okay, on your left side, we have toolbox. Toolbox which contains um, different objects which we can add on our game. And on your right side, we have explorer. Explorer have list all the objects within your game. Okay, for example, if I add part. Okay. So the part will be visible uh, in the explorer over here. Okay. And then down here we have properties for the part so if you want to view the properties of the list you just click it and now the properties of the part will be visible okay all right okay up here we have four features crucial features which is select move scale and rotate this is all for the object okay i will show you all right it's on the home option over there so if i want to move i just click the part and then click move yeah so now i can move freely okay and also i can scale it rotate Okay, let me delete this part first. 
the next one is um, how to add the model on your uh, game environment okay, for example if you want to change the sky you just um, search on sky in the search panel so now the sky is visible okay I'm gonna choose um, this one war sky so I just click it okay so now my I have changed okay all right so let's move on to make our game for today the game called maze game the maze game okay so first what you need to do is you need the maze of course the maze right so type in maze in the search on the toolbox and then I will choose OB Maze. Just I just click once, and the maze will successfully enter the game environment. Okay. All right. So we have the maze over here. You can see over here the maze have two doors. This is the first door, and this is the second door. Okay. All right. But I just want only one door so i need to close the other door right so how to close this door okay first you go to explorer and then you expand the maze and then you can see all of the part over here right okay so we need to ungroup okay so now all the part have separate okay and then you click the one that you want to close the door over here okay you click it okay and then you click scale and you just scale the y-axis like this okay all right so now we have successfully uh closed the door okay all right and then we need to ungroup back uh, sorry we need to group back the all the wall okay okay how to uh, how to group okay you just click first the floor because we don't want to group back the floor so you rename it as floor okay and then you click shift on your keyboard you hold the shift and then you click the first part here and also the last part okay okay after that you click control and you click the floor so now we have excluded the floor you right click and click group all right okay the next one we want to um insert the texture for the wall and the floor okay we insert for the wall first okay all right so over here in the home option you have material oops okay. home home material okay i will choose a uh, brick material can see the wall have a texture in it right okay so the next one we want to insert the texture for the floor you go to material again and you can choose any material you want I will choose cobblestone yeah it's look good and then I will change the color I want to make it dark a bit so I will choose medium brown okay yeah, I think it's pretty good <laughs> okay so now our maze looks amazing all right okay the next one we want to move the spawn location to here what is spawn location spawn location is uh, where the character will start the game Okay. All right. 
Okay, so how to move the spawn location? You click on the spawn location on the explorer and then you click move. So now you just move it like this according to the axis. Okay, and then I don't want to see this um, spawn location, so I want to make it transparent. So I would go to to the properties over here, and then um, alter the transparency. Okay, I'll alter it to the maximum so that I can see it. Okay, right, so I think it's pretty good now. So let's let's try the game. Yeah. So now the character will start the game from here. Okay. To make the game more interesting, I will install the door to each of my exit over here. Like here, 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 okay? So the character needs to search for the key in order to open the door. Okay, so you go to toolbox and you type in um, door with We will take this one, the piggy keys and door. Okay, you just click it. Okay. Okay, so now we move it to here first. Okay. Okay, I will show you how to install the door. Okay. Alright, so we will take this door, you click it. So the character, need, the player needs to search for a key. We will hide it a bit like this. Okay. Okay, so now we can try first. Okay. Okay, we have door here. Open the door.
I solve for the game. It's simple, right? You also can do it by yourself without any scripting. Okay. So in the next video, I will um, teach you how to make a skeleton. Insert the skeleton, and then when the character touch the skeleton, um, then the character will die. Okay. So yeah. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, you can drop in the comment below. Okay, so please subscribe, like, comment this video. Thank you, bye!